Uh, in this tutorial, we'll be looking at solutions to logarithmic functions. We are given some questions here, which we need to apply some laws of logarithms in order to solve them. Each of these equations we have or non variables which we need to find. Uh, from laws of logarithm, this can be transformed to log of x power 2. The first term here is t. And this remains the same log of x minus 1 is e equals log of x minus 2. Uh, from the laws of logarithm, again, you can uh, transform these two terms to have a single log. By factorization, we have log base e of x squared divided by x minus 1. You have to master your laws of logarithms. And this equals log of x minus 2 is e. The left and right hand side all have equal log. So 1 cancel 1. We end up having this equals this. x squared over x minus 1 equals x minus 2. Um, by cross multiplication, this time this Therefore, x squared equals this time this, which is um, x squared minus 3x plus 2. If you subtract x squared from both sides, we end up having 0 equals minus 3x plus 2. By bringing this one to the left hand side, we have 3x equals 2. Then to find the value of x, you need to divide both sides by 3, by 3, so 3 here, we have x now equals 2 over 2. Therefore, the real value of x in this equation is 2 over 3. Now let's test the other one, the second example. Log x squared plus 1 minus 2 log x base 10 equals to 1. What is the value of x? That will satisfy this equation. And again, you can rewrite this as dot x squared plus 1 plus 10 minus these two can now fly over and become a power of x. So log x power 2 is a law of logarithm and this equals 1. A log of a number having the same base as the number is equal to 1. So we can transform this one to log 10 base 10. Log of a number having the same base as the number is equal to 1. So we have not changed anything. This is the same thing as 1. And this one, you can transform them in such a way that they have a single log. You have log. Then here you have x squared plus 1 divide by x squared if you have subtraction then you divide and this equals log 10 is 10 and each side we have log to the base 10 so it means this equal to this x squared plus 1 over x squared equals to 10 that's what it means because this cancel this so by cross multiplication we have this time this 10x squared to be equal to this times 1 x squared plus 1 minus x squared minus x squared this is 9 x squared equals to 1 you divide both sides by 9 x squared will be equal to 1 over 9 to find the real value of x you need to take the square root of both sides so x now we be equals to plus or minus the square root of 1 over 9 and this gives us plus or minus 1 all over 3. So 1 all over 3 plus or minus 1 all over 3 is the real value of uh, x here. So we move to the second to the last one. If log y base 2 equals to 3 minus log 4 to the power of 3 over 2, find the 
value of y that will satisfy this equation. So from the right hand side we have 3 minus log 4 power 3 over 2 is 2. And this one too you can transform it in this form log 3 log of 2 base 2. Log 2 base 2 is 1 times 3 is still 3. So we have not changed anything. So we subtract again. Log. But this one here is 4 power 1 over 2 times 3. And this one is just the square root of 4, which is 2. So we have log 2 power 3 minus log of 2 power 3 because square root of 4 is 2 and again this 2 power 3 is 8 so log 8 is 2 minus minus log 8 base 2 then if you change them in such a way they will have the same log you end up having log 8 divided by 8 is 2 and this equals log 1 is 2 from the right hand side and what is on the left hand side is equal to what is on the right hand side from the left hand side we have log y is 2 and from the right hand side we have log 1 is 2 so therefore y equals 1 because this can cancel this out we end up having y equals 1 then the last one we have log x base 3 raised to the power of 2 minus 6 log x base 3 plus 9 equals to 0 we need to find the value of x that will satisfy this equation let t equals log x base 3 so therefore we substitute t as log x base 3 so here we have t raised to the power of 2 minus this is 6t 6t then plus 9 this will give us 0 then we need to think of two numbers which when we multiply them we get 9 and when we add them together we get negative 6 so the numbers are negative 3 and negative 3 this is a quadratic equation that we need to solve by factorization so you are going to set each of these to be equal to 0 and if you set this one you are going to get 3 and if you set this one again to be equal to 0 you are still going to get 3 therefore t equals the 3 twice all having the same value then we need to substitute here t equals to this therefore 3 now equals to log x from a definition of logarithm if you take a base raise it to a uh, power of this number it will give us x so 3 power 3 is equal to x and 3 power 3 is 27 equals to x therefore the value of x equals 27 and you can test it back with this main equation and you realize it will give you zero so thank you for watching kindly subscribe to our channel press the bell icon so that you won't miss anything